doing it on the mic, but also everybody in the chat. Thank you for joining us. We could necessarily not do this without you. 745 people watching, six, 760 entrants. Honestly, like I, we, we would not be here without you guys. So definitely big, big shouts to you guys. Honestly. Like I said in my, uh, my going live tweet, the largest tournament to ever take place on December 28th, 2020. And now it's December 29th. So it might also be the largest tournament to take place on December 9th, 2020. Yeah. Two days in a row, but also oh, real quick, I want to give a quick shout out to some of our friends and partners who've worked with us. You guys already know Game Crossing LLC, definitely helping fight this amazing overlay. Good shout outs to my friend Andrew, of course, 2GG, and of course, Red Bull Gaming. You guys already know they decided to come in and support us for the month of December and with some great events that they definitely hosted. So honestly, my shout outs to goes to all you guys. If you guys are like me and have, been a, have ever struggled in college or just trying to stay up late, uh, Red Bull has been there for me, and it's a delicious drink. I'm not gonna lie. If you're like me and you're trying to watch your weight, it's got the probably one of the best tasting low calorie options I've ever had because it doesn't even taste like a diet energy drink. Some other energy drinks they do, but Red Bull does not. So definitely, uh, when next time you stop at your local convenience store, gas station, Walmart, wherever you guys go buy energy drinks, think about picking up a Red Bull, man, because they're definitely out here helping out 2G Gaming. But most importantly, they give all their love and support to the Smash community because you guys already know how the scene can be especially in such trying times like these but also while i have you guys' attention i'm going to give you guys a big big shout outs to our two commentators tonight of course the man on what is my left side of the screen i don't know what you guys you guys are watching on but my <laughs> left side of my screen is going to be liquid last of course representing team liquid you guys already know if you guys watch hungry box if you guys watch league if you guys are like me and sometimes you watch valorant or csgo you would definitely understand oh, I love the valorant name and cs You'll definitely know what Liquid means, but also huge shout outs to its cast here working, putting out great efforts today. Of course, it is Liquid Last. Follow him at L4ST underscore V1. And of course, the man who needs no less than a wonderful introduction, it is Skiff himself. Follow this man at wonderful underscore Skiff. This man is the first time I've ever heard about him this year, and he's having a tremendous year. So definitely consider following these two lovely casters who have been supporting, but also great on the mic for tonight's MSM 35. Yeah, thanks, man. That was uh, that was one hell of an ad plug too. That was great. I did not practice that. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't practice? That was no, great. No, I didn't. <laughs> that was fantastic. Good stuff. Years and years yeah, of no, doing um, this. I uh, no, I I do I do like uh, I do want to point out like yeah the about when you said I'm having a big year. Like honestly, this is a huge year for me. Um, so for those <laughs> unaware, I know pandemic has been a tough time for a lot of us. Uh, but honestly, it's been one of the better years for myself. I've been getting a lot of gigs. Um, so if you are out there and you're interested in doing commentary, it all starts with your local level. Honestly, I got lucky. So for me being where I am right now, it's actually just kind of meeting the right people and just having certain blocks fall into place. So, uh, But if you want to do commentary, it literally just starts doing it at your local level. And then eventually you just kind of move up the top eight and eventually you'll start getting other gigs as well. Yeah. Um, I got I get people who ask me about commentary once in a while. It's it's literally I mean I obviously local level's not an option right now, but you just you find some of those uh those other streams, those other tournaments. There's a lot of streams uh, happening, you know, weekly, and you could always reach out to some of those people who run them and just ask if they're looking for any commentators. Just try to get a uh, you know a few a few spots in, try to work on some stuff, uh, and that, that's really what it comes down to, man. Well, yeah, no, a commentary is big. Thank you to 2GG for having me. Uh, honestly, it's absolutely crazy. I mean, it's not it's not the offline events, which is fine. But um, <laughs> the fact that I'm on 2GG doing commentary, this is not my first time doing it either. It, it's wild to me considering where I was like a year ago. I was just doing local stuff. I did one event at Dakno. That was Jackie Peanuts. We did Grand Finals. It was uh, Yeti versus Mewtwo King. That was super fun. And uh, yeah, it's just been uh, kind of uphill from there so and here we are but we're going to be getting into our next game here we got yes taking got cap at the Cito. uh ps2 this should be very interesting uh, both these players absolute fire uh we we'll have to see who can uh kind of get this early start up and right now yes taking a quick 38 percent up smash wow that's uh 63 percent unanswered so far especially against amiga <laughs> yes take it easy man take it easy <laughs> Yeah, man, he's coming. He's coming in really quick with the hot hands because he knows he, there's only one place he wants to go to, 
He's punching that ticket to losers finals. You know he's not happy about being in losers, but he's had such a tremendous run, man. He almost speed ran through losers out of the bracket with a couple of his previous opponents. But he's going up against one of the Dominican Republic's finest, man. It is Capitan Cito, but he quickly sends his man to the skies, already with the upper, and 0% to this man's name. He's got a lot to definitely make himself for. I return to it zero to death, and holy crap. The, yeah. the term speed running of these sets, that is how you would describe almost all the sets that Yez has played in losing. Mm -hmm. There we go. 10% finally. I want to get back in winners. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, no. And uh, Yez is definitely uh, running through. They had a little bit of a speed bump with uh, with Terror Bear. Terror Bear kind of made him work for it. But uh, yeah, I'm going to see if Cap and Decido can kind of get something going here. I mean, we do have Yez with a bit of momentum. And Cap and Decido is probably just waiting around a little bit. Probably got a little cold. See if they can warm up after, after this game one. Excuse me, a little gassy. I'm so so sorry. <laughs> Man, I can't I can't stand it. Yeah, he's coming back to stage with that up B, and he's poised to take the second stock of the game before Capitan Cito has even seen the first go. Yeah, looking right. for something to get off of platform here, but he's just getting stuck by me gunner throwing stuff at him. Mm -hmm. Okay, good stuff. Back air. Alright. Oh! Right. Yeah, no, Captain Seal looks like Captain Seal is starting to get a little bit of something going here. I know they're down. Oh, this could be bad news. Oh, what? Oh, beautiful timing. I mean, okay, look, I know they lost the stock, but that timing was insane. Oh, my God. <laughs> That was wild. Yo, good stuff to Cap of the Cito. Let's see if they can find a way um, to to kind of get that, take that little bit of momentum right there and just kind of push it forward. I mean, right now looking kind of decent, 52%. He has his second stock. They can't be taking a whole lot of damage here because, again, like we've mentioned multi, multiple, multiple times, um, that, uh, that Yez's damage output is absolutely insane. So, I mean, Cap of the Cito does have a lot of work that they got to... Uh, <laughs> ahead of them. So we'll see if they're able to get that happening. Yeah, right now, Yez doing such a good job of just holding on to the stock at this point. Because Capitan Cito looking fantastic. I, I have to give credit to, like, there's not a lot of people who can go down three stocks to one and then start looking like this in the 11th hour. A lot of people, they just start to give up on the game and just GG's go next, right? And just uh -oh. like that, with that down smash... Capitan Cito, he's in this. He is 100% here. Yeah, uh, this could be bad news. Oh, that could have been an absolutely devastating up smash. Capitan Cito barely dodging death, but that one gonna connect. And oh, oh that oh, one. Oh, no, he's living. He's living. What? How is he still alive? <laughs> Built different. Okay, set up. Yup, that's a lot of damage right there. Gonna get that missile into the charge shot. Oh, that's it, right? Yeah. That's okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. If he had lived Ooh. that one, I was going to have to go check his switch because no one can DI that. But with that, Yez does take it up 1-0 in the set, and it's looking like, you know, the opening of that game looked like another another tally to the board of sets that I've speed run for Yez, right? Mm -hmm. But Capitan Cito started to show us some sauce. He started to show us some fight he, that he had some life left in him, and he brought it down last stock. So I, if he can go into game two with that sort of fire lit underneath him, uh, it's it's definitely really, like, it's definitely possible that we even see another game five in this situation. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Um, I mean, right now, again, that's that's off to a hot start. Uh, Capitan Cito did do a pretty good job of bringing that back. But Yez still, um, <laughs> Yez, that early zero to death was insane. Let's see if he can find a way to uh, carry that momentum into the start of this game, too. Um, but Captain Cito definitely looked like they started to find their footing a little bit. So let's see if they can find a way to salvage this set here. Not letting, uh, or falling to a 3-0. But again, we've been seeing Yez absolutely decimate some people. But, uh, we just got to make ooh, sure that, uh, ooh. Uh -oh. Did you see the uh, the grenade bounce him into the grab? That was yeah, cool. that was yeah, it was really cool. Captain Decido does a lot of neat stuff. Like I know some people complain about me gunner. Uh, Captain Decido is sick. <laughs> like I love big watching fan. the play. Yeah, big fan, big Captain Decido fan right here. But also I'm a big, big yes fan. fan. Yeah, no, like I, I will. I just love Smash Ultimate, dude. Good players are cool. Yeah, good players are pretty cool. All right, but anyway, let's get in back into this game here. Oh wow, how long? 
That was good stuff from scary. yes. <laughs> That's scary. Yeah, getting on that upset. That upset has actually closed out quite a few stocks for Capitacito today. The dash attack not going to kill either. All right. We saw it a whole lot against Chunky. Um, we saw we saw a plethora of those uh, up smashes, but we didn't see it nearly as much in the Ness game. Uh, oh no! That's gonna hurt. Yep. Uh, yeah, we'll see what happens from there, man. I mean, yes. It's like I've said it before, man. Yes just knows how to close out some stocks sometimes. Um, I mean, again, he's he's one of the higher placing uh, players um, in this pandemic era. He, he places top eight pretty often. I remember at the uh, when I first started really paying attention to Yez, it was back at the box, uh, the first box. He actually, uh, I think he got seventh place, but he like went like toe to toe with Esam. Like I was like, who is this dude? And uh, yeah, man, he just uh, absolute fire player. He definitely shows it with his gameplay uh, a lot. I mean, you can catch him in a lot of tournaments. He competes very often, and he, I mean, he just does an amazing job. I'm live now streaming. If you want to watch his own stream, uh, I think mm. it's Yez SSB. I don't think there's any spaces there, but I could be wrong. I'm really sorry if I am wrong. Yeah. Well, anyway, Captain Cedar gonna be able to fight. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, it just sounds so, so dismissive. I'm sorry. But, so, um... <laughs> I can't believe you're going to So, but, but no, uh, Captain Steel doing a fantastic job taking that first stock. Uh, but 99% right now. Okay, wait, this... Oh, that could have been huge. All right, not going to get the, um... Not going to get a stock or a gimp out on Yez, but still finding ways to put on some good damage here. Yes, is actually really, really struggling at the disadvantage, but once he gets going, it's a, a freight train that cannot be stopped. That's the, that's the thing, though, because there are very few instances thus far in this set of him getting going. Sure, he's gotten game one, and he's he's looking fine in this game, too. But Capitan Sito, if he can just do a little bit better in the defensive play and just stop Yes from getting going, Yes is screwed because he's having trouble getting going in the first place. Oh, wow. Great up tilt. Okay. That's actually one of the moves I see Yes throw out uh, every once in a while. But every time he throws it out, it seems to be, like, one of the most impactful moves. He doesn't throw it out too often. And, like, uh, but then, like, he throws it out as, like, a random mix-up. And it either, like, just gets some, like, really good stage control or just takes a stock. So did I did a quick draw. Hang on. What was that? Did he do that? What the hell? <laughs> he just did wake up quick draw. Hey, you know what I mean? And if it works. Uh-oh. oh <laughs> All right, yeah, Yes is definitely going for a hard read there, I guess. Oh, man, that up smash again, oh! I'm telling you. No, he's living. He's still alive, but I, I bet in a second he'll wish he wasn't. <laughs> we'll see. Yes has been doing this a lot lately, too. Like, uh, he'll just be sitting on the other side of the stage and just crouch. I don't know why. But anyway, good uh, dash attack right there. Going to take that second stock. All right, let's see what happens. Good Nair okay. looking for the up air, but it's not going to connect, and neither is the dash That Great spot dodge there in oh. the back air. Going to catch Capitan Cito. Maybe a little bit lacking on the DI, but it's not going to matter because the main thing that he's lacking is stocks remaining in the game. Yep, and yeah, we're going to see Yes take that game too. Looking pretty good. Uh, really wants to get into that grand finals because um, I, I think, like you said, that they were the one seed coming into this, right? Yeah. Yeah, probably. I, I uh, checked Smash GG to confirm yep. my my suspicions. Yeah, I just saw that. He's going twelve and one in the bracket right now, and if he can win this set, that will make him thirteen and one. What a run so far! Um, and then, like, the thing is, is that if he can beat Capitancito, which looking like he's in position to do so right now, he'll be taking on Min Main, which he has a little bit of experience with, with a winning record on, and that could just be 14-1, and one. and then we're gonna see a, uh, if, a consuming that Yes continues to push forward, uh, Grand Finals between WebJP, whose ZSS has been absolutely on fire tonight, uh, taking on Yes would be pretty insane, honestly, but we'll have to see I... if Yes can finish off Capitancito first. It may be a bit of a weird statement, but I think that matchup-wise, I'm not saying anything to the skill of the players, but specifically talking about matchups, this is Yez's biggest challenge in the remaining round. Um, I think me, Gunner, is probably the thing that threatens Ike the most out of all the remaining characters. Now, that's not saying that I don't think Min Main or, uh, or WebJP are going to be a threat to Yez. Absolutely not. Yez will... He still has a mountain to climb, even if he does manage to get through Capitancito. But, just speaking strictly matchups, I think if he gets through Me Gunner, he can get through any of the other characters. 
Yep, but uh, here we go. Game three, it's do or die for Captain Tuxedo. I mean, this is it. The Captain Tuxedo can't uh, find a way to make it work here. And Smashville, they've actually been doing pretty well in Smashville, if I remember correctly. Now, I saw someone in the chat saying Min Min destroys I. Yes, I do think that's a losing matchup, but I'm keeping in mind the fact that Yez has a perfect record on both Peckham and Min Min. So, like, I think Yez is pretty good at the Min Min matchup. That's why I'm saying I think the, the unfamiliar matchup that you don't see too often of me, Gunner, that's the biggest hurdle. I mean, we'll also see, because who knows, maybe mid main has worked on a, a little bit of counterplay since the last time they met. But again, we can't be getting too far ahead of ourselves, because Kappa Tocito still has some life left in him right now with a percentage lead here. Oh, wow! Yes, was going deep, and that's going to cost him a stock. That's unfortunate. Uh, and it's there's, there's no two ways about it. That is not the way you want to get something started in this game. But, you know, 69% on the board. Yes, could definitely take a stock very soon, especially on a stage like Smashville. I'm actually kind of surprised Ooh. that Capitan Sito took Yes here on his counterpick. This yeah. is a stage that we've seen Yes counterpick other people to several times uh, throughout the night. He actually, uh, <laughs> I don't know if you saw it, but he actually uh, teched on the platform to dodge the uh, charge blast. <gasps> oh my god, this up smash. These up smashes, <laughs> they are nasty. Yes, built different, dude. He just built different. All right, well, let's see where we go from here. Up air, not going to kill, but sending him quite off stage. Great air dodge. Wow. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> but yeah, no, that was a fantastic air dodge. It looks like Yez is uh, getting some good momentum going right now. There's another up tilt, uh, kind of keeping that stage control. That's unfortunate. Landed on the shield in there. I thought we were going to see a grab to a back throw, but no, Captain Cito going to opt for jumping over into a back air for themselves. These Nairs are doing a really good job of pressuring Yez's uh, landing. Mm -hmm. All right. There. Man, me Gun or Nair is actually really good, huh? Yeah, me Gun or Nair, we talked about it. I think we we literally talked about this when uh, Capitan and Chunky were playing in the juice box. It's like Smash 4 Cloud Nair. Uh, it's not that big. <laughs> oh, that's huge. That's a big forward air. Yeah, speaking of big, that is a start of a comeback in a big way. Very nice from Yez. And he is suddenly back in this game. What? Whoa! What do we do? A little update for you guys if you guys are watching yes chat is correct in the specifically info if we do get into what is called the oh uh, god why am i see that's this that's how weird it is because i've i haven't never seen it in such a long time but if we do happen to get into the sudden death clause the two players will be playing a one stock three minute game to determine the final winner a few moments later no, wow. these these two these two wow. got no problem beating the hell out of each other. This is so weird. Does the the clause specify that they have to play it out on the same stage, or did they ban it? I have no uh, idea. I, I have no idea. I just remember it was like a one stock three minute video. All right. Uh, you know, somewhere there's an alternate universe where Smash Ultimate is played only one stock three minutes uh, standard. <laughs> that, what a wonderful world. <laughs> but here we go, man. Uh, first one that I've seen in 2020. Let's see where it goes. Right now, we got Kevin Cito taking a nice little early lead on the percentage. And man, I, everything just feels so much more like important right now. <laughs> it feels frantic, but here's the thing. Capitan Cito taking an early uh -oh. lead could come Ooh. back to bite him in the booty because if Yez manages to get Rage online, that's a scary, scary situation, especially when it's a, a high stakes position like this. Oh, I keep, uh, not I, yes, keep, well, I mean, it is like, but yes, keep jumping onto that platform and then dropping off just to try to get some pressure onto the shield, getting, trying to find a poke or something. Ooh, okay, the Nair going to send up too Perfect high shot. now. Oh my god, yes, was going for it all right there. Wanted to close out that stock. Eee. Okay, got an aether to the ledge. Oh my god. So scary. So scary. And wait. Oh, oh the I, quick, just go for a straight I quick throw. Something. I oh lost. my god, and that's it. Okay, Yes is going to be able yes, to close out this set with a 3 0. Oh. Okay, but here's the thing. We were both feeling like super stressed, like, okay, it all comes down to this. But if Yes lost, there was just another game. Yeah, but I mean, that's. Kind of ruins the tension. Yeah, you really ruined the tension. Okay, so listen, if anybody tries to, <laughs> tries to, you know, get the clip after this, just, just cut it right before it blasts anything. Part out. <laughs> 